Ooh, what is up guys and welcome to the are you testing and uh, yeah should probably sell that on my title as you guys already seen we have a decent team here that I actually used in I do believe in you and uh, that it worked really well we actually adjusted it a little bit we have slurp up here that the regular set player of and the uh, rain punch you know billy drum set basically alone and sassler's my roars which fill the role of setting up aurora veil while linoon being also billy drum set do blade basically to check everything that needs to be checked and may I camera up for well the rest so quick round out Saigard is the one being tested in this particular ladder which means that we don't have any points of gaining here outside of actually just showcasing the team kind of unfortunate I actually wanted to ladder in RU now that the change has been made but Saigard 10% need to be tested therefore here we are and quite frankly this team could be very devastating for a lot of matchup but also and this should definitely be stated um, since Zygarde is such a primary threat here, which what Bandit said, probably running through this team without necessarily any bigger issue, it's going to be the one thing to actually watch out for. So with that in mind, that's that's how I'm going to play. As luckily for me, I don't face that. Um, <laughs> that definitely should be said. Luckily, I don't face that. Um, but yeah, looks to be fine to me. A ninja ask is definitely weird here. And then we have, of course, Espeon, which always is great to see. Uh, but yeah, from the get-go here, I do believe uh, Aurora does make for a decent lead here. I do want to say, I want to see... Oh, Wishcast, cool. Uh, well, no reason for me not to go in for free strike here. Probably just KO his straight off the bat, actually. Uh, yeah, he does stay in. Lower ladder all never disappoints, as have I been learned lately. Um, lower ladder always invokes weirder stuff, and this is most certainly weirder. Um... <laughs> oh, low ladder, thank you for being you. Really cool of actually seeing something like that. Like, Wishcast is a Pokemon I probably never, never ever will find viable, but I sure as hell wanted to. It's a freaking monster in disguise. No Dragon Dance, or whatnot. I probably should do something with that, see if I can get it to work. I find it highly unlikely. But it is a Pokemon that can capitalize on Giga Vault Havoc. Uh, which I do believe has Spark, um, which is an awful, awful physical electric move, but it is a very, very interesting um, Z move. Let's see. So, from the get-go here, he clearly has decided not to play the game. <laughs> I wonder what went through his head when he was designing this team. I mean, my team is a bit of tryhard, and quite frankly, I, it deals really well with against his team no matter what and once I get Aurora will go in I mean there's nothing stopping me from sweeping him with slurp off okay I actually stayed in um, I'm gonna bring sand slash here and I want to see what he wants to do see future sides that's quite all right and it's not magic bounds I f that's even stranger I'm gonna get my Aurora will go in as he goes for okay this so he goes for a crit chance though I, I, I have to give him that um, I mean, Future Side is gonna connect now with possible crits. Um, and Wikiberry, alright. And goes for Call of Mine. Oh, it's boosted even further. Future Side, not a crit though. Um, but you know, a million, million points for trying. This That was actually fairly cool. <laughs> like, no matter how this battle turns out, I will remember that set. That's that's a that's a awful, awful or in awe of it. Okay, forfeited. Fuck! I wanted to see the rest. Like there was there was something there. It was something cool going on there. I mean, focus, energy, future sight, calm mind. Please, you gotta you gotta appreciate stuff like that. Um. Let's see, start timer. There we go. Aurora's is the lead as we see Grundebull. Let's see, he doesn't have any spinner, which is good. He could have defog in his deciduite, that's about it. As I'm gonna get him up my rocks, so we saw a close combat, bring him down to the sash. And we're gonna go now for a blizzard, sacking this. Let's see, he goes for rock to me. Yeah, that's a safer play, I like that. Um, and he's definitely a tougher spot now, but I'm gonna bring my Alolan Zandeslrashu. Go for the Aurora Veil, as we're gonna see another close combat, I'm sure. And, 
the thing is here, I think his next place should be something similar. So with that in mind, I'm definitely bringing a slap off as the earthquake, and that's alright. Um, I had a chance to go for play rough, I was gonna say, but to go for belly drum. If I'm unlucky here, we definitely go to see something like um, let's see, okay, play rough, that's better. And yeah, save play is definitely drain punch. Get some HP back. Um, I mean, I don't think I can sweep from here, but the possibility is there. But you really need a queen, just wallows. Um, the only possible good trade here is to get a big hit on it, or not at all. Ugh. The game never disappoints, does it? Um, all right, go for drain punch then. Yay! I'm I'm kind of disappointed. I'm not gonna lie. All right, we got two more turns of this. Let's try this one more time. <sighs> like I said, kind of disappointed that player off miss. Didn't expect to live the earth power either, but still. So there we go. And the figgy back on track. Goes for earth power. It won't do anything. We're still going to roar a bill on us. Go for extreme speed. Whack. Didn't kill, surprisingly. Let's try to see if we can go for another whack at it. There we go. At least we'll prioritize him. Now, I do believe the Sidioi is his switch in here to be able to kind of capitalize on it. We do have Gunk Shot. It can also miss! So, you know, that's a thing. Um, right, go to Porygon. Porygon probably will survive this, even if I am plus four. We'll still break him asunder. And he miss. Okay. Okay. Bit strange to see Funnaway. I do believe something like Tri Attack or Ice Beam would have been enough there. But now I just think we win. Um, I don't think he has anything to take on this team whatsoever. Yeah, he just forfeited. Um, Alright, you know, we keep going at it. Well, that was just unfortunate. I probably would have won that game much earlier than I actually did. Um, I definitely believe that that miss really did hinder me. As this team looks more like it. We have a bronze song, which definitely walls both my sets of uh, Slurp Huff. Uh, I think my best lead is, uh, quite frankly, I'm not sure. I want. I have to deal with with Bronze Song first. If I'm not dealing with Bronze Song, there's no reason for me of actually setting up. His Stealth Rocker is possibly that Pokemon too, so I'm actually going to lead off with Camerupt, seeing that uh, very likely that Flygon cannot be the lead. So yeah, there we go. Uh, Mega Vol directly and go for. I mean, if he brings Houndoom, there is no way Houndoom can retaliate that hard on me anyway. Let's see, it looks like he stayed in. As Fire Blast, can I just KO? Okay. Okay. Because, I mean, even if we brought Houndoom and get a Flash Fire, Fire Blasts don't do in retaliation that much to me either, and Earth Power most certainly would KO him. So I have no idea why he stayed in there. I'm not gonna lie, I thought that was a very strange play. <laughs> That's actually a really strange play. Um, I'll see, oh, Blastoise. Um, and I don't have a proper switch into Blastoise whatsoever. Um, not supposed to, I guess, to some extent, but I just want to set up anyway. So let's bring in Aurora's, try to get some rocks up, but actually go for free strife and just wheel him down a little bit. Um, let's see, he doesn't get a first turn burn, which is incredible. It looks like we can take another one of those, so with that in mind, I'm actually going to go for rocks. Just to get some Pokemon down a little bit. Um, as he goes for another Scald, don't get the burn. Awesome. You can kill me next turn, buddy. That's fine with me. Please do. Just going to go for the easy freeze dry. Um, oh, he forfeited. What is this? <laughs> Ladder Heaven, indeed. We do ladder kind of high though, pretty early. Oh, look, we got another, another hail setter in Gluttony. This looks good though. I like this. I really like this. He do not want to deal with me a camera, which makes this even better. Which one should be his lead though? I'm predicting Rotom, so I was not too far off 
as uh, yeah, I can just go for a farm blast here. His best switching would be his uh, Snorlax, I think. Uh, so there we go. It's a Shearforce booster fire blast, though, so it's still gonna sting. And it sure as hell did. Thick fat what? I'm sorry. Let's see. Dewblade is my switch in here. Um, oh, Pursuit. Cool. Now here's the thing, though. Um, I can just go for Sword Stance here without any bigger ramification, as sure, Flygon is dangerous, but it can't KO me. I can get the seal damage I need here. I mean, it's a 2 hit kill. Earth power. Okay, that's definitely new. Predicting him to switch out, though, right? Yeah. He's not going to stay for another, so I go for Gyro Ball. Okay, it didn't do anything anyway. Nice. Um, let's go for Shadow Sneak again. All damage is any damage. Alright, let's see. When we got Rodan, Rodan Whittle down, which is somewhere down the line what I wanted. Um, special Flygon, props to that, as we see you. Now here's the thing with you though, you're not going to stay in, there's no way you would. So I'm going to get my free rocks. Devastating Drake, okay buddy, okay, calm down. Calm down. <laughs> I mean, it's Sackwell at this point, so... Yeah, I just go for Blizzard. There we go. No, not my Auroras. Damn you, I wanted my rocks, etc, etc. Um, let's see, there we go. Get my Aurora Veal going. I'm definitely gonna scare him out. He could go for Fire Blast? No. Nope. He could not. Um, I guess I'll just finish you off then. Oh, he switches out to Registeel, alright. And this is not the end of the world, actually, because Earthquake should do something. And while he gets possibly his rocks up, I mean, you're not winning this matchup. I have no idea why you're staying in. Earthquake ends you. I should be very aware of that myself, actually. Um, mm, 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 mm. He's definitely in range. I can't set up another hail. Auroraville turns are going. Oh, Earthquake it is, I don't care. As Flygon comes in again. And um, here's the thing. I just go for... I can still sack this. Oh, Jesus. That was not good. He defogged away my Auroraville, you scum. <laughs> Alright, here comes a bomb of snow. Oh, Jesus, please be the Mega and reset it. Oh, yes. What did you do? Do you have any idea what you started? <laughs> you saved me. You saved me from this. Oh, my God, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, let's see. Rotom. Nope. That's not going to work. That's not going to work at all. Next. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Why? I really thought he had me there. Like, that was an excellent option to go against me. So I like that. Um, yeah, I need to go for play rough here. Um, but we definitely got this in the bag. There is no way he's winning. But he... He ruined himself from this victory. I can just push Drain Punch now and that's GG. There is no way he's going to win. <laughs> Man, what a turnout. Yeah, he forfeited. There we go. Alright, that's the ladder, guys. If you want to use this team, be sure to, of course, link it down below. And as always, this is how Aurora Wheel of Fans look in RU. I used this, uh, okay, before Kimai okay, Camera was a part of this team, I actually had another fire type, I do believe Ember was a part of this team then. But yeah, no, Celastal was a part of this team then. So uh, a few Pokemon didn't wall me, such as another Dewblade.
too late to do wall spin no matter what though. But um, not wall, but sweep me. What I'm trying to say is that this variant of offensive team still holds up very well. Uh, is it whether or not there are better Pokemon to capitalize on it? I mean, for example, Durant is one I really want to use forward over the other Pokemon here with Aurora Ville in mind. But Slurpuff of Linoon just brings another dimension to this kind of style. And quite frankly, it worked really well. I am lucky to win this time, though. I'm not going to say anything else there. Clearly, he's setting off the, <laughs> the hail of really just like, dude, thanks. GG, buddy. Uh, yeah, I hope you guys have stayed here, like the team, and I'll see you next video. Till then, take care.